Hi guys, good morning. Charmian here. I hope all is well. Uh, I am going to cover a requested demo. This demo was requested about a month ago, right? And the person that requested this demo, they know who they are, of course, right? So I hope he sees it. I hope he like it. Well, of course he will like it. I know who he is, right? Um, and I'm just going to do it. What is it you might ask? It's uh, eggplant choker demo what we will call here in Trinidad and Tobago uh, bygone or melangene is what I'm going to do today you know nothing is ever too simple for me to cover and I mean that once my supporters request something and I could do it I will do it without even hesitating or making a problem out of doing it right so I hope it was well worth the wait the person like I said know who they are it's a servant, it's a minister of the gospel, right? And I'm about to do it now. So you are seeing the size of the eggplant. You always want to, it's in, it's in cling wrap. You always want to make sure that you uh, get the large size if you could, right? Because what will happen is it, it, it wilts. It's looking that huge there, but it's going to reduce to nothing when it's uh, roasted, right? So I'm about to show you guys the roasting process of it now. Right? You want to leave everything intact to roast the eggplant or buy gum. You don't want to do anything and don't wet it because you have to roast it, okay? Some persons will do the roasting method where they cut a, put a, a, a cut in the eggplant on the fire and insert garlic into it, whole garlic clove. I won't be doing that. Remember, I always tell you all, we do things differently, but most times we come arrive at the same conclusion, right? So I won't be doing that. You might be hearing a funny song that would be my store with some like if this breeze is somewhat blowing it right so i'm starting now so you just want to get your eggplants on here if you have a ring stove what is known as a ring stove what to some in trinidad as a cracker that's perfect for this it's going to go by like lightning if you have a ring stove right we just want to make sure you have it of course somewhere safe that you know it's away from everything because those rings too it's huge um burner like so huge like about the size of a standard eating plate that's how big the fires and those things right if you are not from here i'm just explaining so that you will have an idea of what i'm speaking about because i i always take into consideration that food by shamian we are international we are not just a local uh business and i have to cover all my bases it's not even ready to turn but i'm just turning it okay uh, i have to cover all my bases some persons also they will use the cold pot method to do these chokers be it this uh the eggplant which is the langeno by gun as it is known here locally and the tomato chokers i will feature the cold pot pretty soon because it's, i'm gonna have somewhat of a hard time explaining it for my international uh friends and supporters and fans and viewers okay so i will do a feature on the cold pot uh pretty soon like i said so i i am staying live i'm not gonna cut off because i want you all to see the entire process of uh roasting the eggplant so i'm not gonna cut off i hope you all are hearing me clearly mic is on but the uh the song that the burner is making is almost ridiculous it's like the breeze is just blowing a kind of you know and you all are hearing it i know for sure so let's just wait it's not going to go take too long because the uh eggplant or melon gel is pretty soft on the inside right so it's not going to take long to go by and if you have a whole set to do occupy all your burners on your stove to go by quickly right like sometimes i just strip down the stove the griddle and all i have a griddle in the middle of my stove so what i would do i just strip it down I'll just strip it down so that we won't um that i'll be able to use occupy all my burners if you are roasting tomatoes and you like the smaller one not roasting but you, yeah but you are roasting them to make choker and you happen to like the smaller one over the bigger one to do chokers because i like the smaller one to do tomato choker i'm just saying it's not a demo about such but i'm just speaking while i'm on the uh, topic of choker you can buy um the small wire to hardware so you will get more 
of that on there. You're going to put it over your stove so your tomatoes will be rolling all over and you're going to be able to do a lot more. So where you'll only be able to do probably like four because the size of the burner and the small tomatoes could literally cave in, fall through. You'll be able to put probably about seven at once in one go on each fire. You all understood that, you know, some what we will call the, uh, the chicken cook wire and so forth. That is what you want to get at your hardware. Cut it to fit over the entire length of both, both burners and uh, roast your tomatoes, right? I thank you all to those of you that support me constantly and even those of you that join me. Remember, I said some persons will uh, simply put a slit. I'll just show demonstration of what I'm speaking about. They will just simply do a slit like this with a knife and they will insert a garlic in there. I don't do it like that. I see absolutely no need for me to do it like that. Eggplant, when it's roasted or melangeno by gun, as it is known over here, it releases its own oil and liquids, right? But yet, choker, when you think choker, you're thinking about oil. So you put oil in it over here. Use oil of your choice. Sometimes it's bathing literally in oil. But I'm going to use it with canola oil, right? I happen to love canola oil, uh, cold pressed coconut oil, or extra virgin olive oil. It's always at my home. I use grape seed a lot from time to time. I haven't used it in quite a while, but the benefits in grape, grape seed oil is quite excellent. It is, right? It's quite, excuse me, it's quite excellent. So you want to have a look at that, but some of the supermarkets might not carry it. And if they are carrying it, it's going to be, it's going to be uh, somewhat expensive but it's worth it because nothing is ever too expensive when it comes to our health and eating well i tell people if you don't make time to eat well <laughs> definitely you're gonna have to make time to pay expensive doctor bills i can guarantee you that so it's better to eat well and spend your money there versus dressing well and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with that i'm saying take care of the inner part of you which is food wise right you want to take part of the inner part of your being like me, I only that noise was the uh pan, my pantry though. I'm happy you all know what the pantry look like, so now I don't have to explain things to my local, my fellow Trinidadians, right? Yeah, so you want to, you know, make time to eat proper. I only uh, eat junk like 10% of all times. I consume a lot of water daily, like heavy amounts of water. You want to do things like that because your body will love you for it, right? So we are just waiting somewhat before uh, for it to fully be cooked it's going to become mushy you will know uh, because I want to show you guys the entire process and since it was a requested demo I don't want to leave out any part because if someone asks me to do something chances are they want to see every aspect or detail of me doing what they requested so I don't chop it up or cut it up and, and, and things like that I show the entire thing so that they could learn and others in turn will be able to benefit from their requests right your stove is going to be a mess expect all of that just you just have to clean your stove once you are finished okay i happen to love eggplants a lot eggplant and mushroom i love vegetables eggplant is really a hearty vegetable if i'm not having meat for a certain amount of time which i will do at times i'm staying away from it for a certain amount of time what i will do i'll eat eggplants and mushrooms a lot when i'm having those two things i don't miss the meat i tell you the truth because our vegetarian diet uh, what I've noticed when I am um, staying away from certain foods for a period of time for whatever reason, what I've noticed is a vegetarian diet, it doesn't sustain for long. One always feels hungry when they are vegetarian, right? And uh, things like these and lentils and things like that, it helps to keep you full along when you are not having meat for whatever reason, right? So the kitchen is filled with that roasty, toasty scent that we know eggplant for and then chokers, you see it's starting to change in texture. I am going to do something that our ancestors before us locally, if they see it, they will flip. They will flip. Those that, you know, made the chokers and thing, especially eggplant choker, because long ago we used to, when I was growing up, I'm over my mid thirties. I'm not gonna say how old, so don't even ask, a waste of your time. When I was growing up, we had to use this, a fork, to, uh, to get this into choker. And, well, I don't do that. I put it in my processor and I let it go. And in about uh, 40 seconds, I have perfect eggplant choker, right? You see it's steaming now. 
you see it's steaming so even like about here some persons will insert because it's cooking so it's steaming some person will insert the same garlic um, in there now in strategic places I might probably put one here one here one here right don't worry about it looking that dark because I tell you something it's only the outer skin that looks like that right the inside is a pretty nice uh, I, can't, I can't explain it it's kind of green because eggplant the inner the flesh of it is green right but I don't have time in reality to stand up and uh, do fork method with any choker anymore. We have the same texture. It's, it's kind of like, if I am to explain things a bit, it's kind of like how long ago there were some folks, you know, going back to the 80s era in which I grew up. Uh, uh, folks will never put their callaloos, the old school folks, in any blender ever, right? They will hand swizzle it. But today we have so much of technology, including myself. I happen to own two of the emulsion blenders or handle swizzle sticks. And I use it, and even if I use that, nobody knows that my calorie was at hand swizzle. Because there's a way in which you can do things to achieve proper um, results. Some persons, they go crazy, they put it in the blender and they go crazy, and there we have it looking all a mess. No, you don't do that. You can't do that. Calorie is of it's a, it's a certain texture. Right, so if you are going to use it in your blender, you want to pulse it, and it's the same when I'm making these things, my eggplant. Um, I don't just put it in my processor and walk off and you know go do. No, I stand there and I pulse it, and I watch for the, the desired texture that eggplant is really known for. Eggplant choker, or melanjan choker. Right, so you all understood what I said. I'm just picking up a bit of time talking and explaining because, of course, I'm waiting for it to cook. Like I said, I'm not going to cut off because. Anytime anyone requests anything from me, it's because they want to learn. And I have to stay and go the process and teach properly. Right? So you see how it's starting to look because we are, it's cooking. I'm almost about to take it off, believe it or not. I don't know how, many time, how much time sorry, went by, but... <laughs> 12 minutes, I mean, 12 minutes because I'm at the other end of the camera, right? So in about the next two minutes, I'm going to take it off exactly in about the next two minutes uh in the middle east i'm gonna pull it i'm gonna share do a food feature on it in the middle east they have the, Ara the arabic so Ara although some the middle eastern nations they do their own version of this believe it or not i'm gonna have to share it with you all their technique and so forth but i am doing trinidad and tobago eggplant or bygon choker right we have a lot of stuff going here uh one of the things we have these things with is uh sada roti the closest way for me to explain sada roti to my american friends and supporters is pita bread that's the closest way i can explain it for you guys to even understand what i'm speaking about but even when you all hear me say something if you happen to love what i do and you are not from trinidad you can google it if you just google sada roti or put it in any search engine you will see what I, what i'm referring to if you want the spelling, just inbox me and I'll give you it. Sada is spelled S-A-D-A. -A, and the roti is R-O-T-I. Right? So, anytime I speak about something and you, you probably don't want to speak publicly for whatever reason, just send me a messenger and I'll speak to you. Right? So, about here, you all saw how we had some nice, healthy, vibrant standing eggplants and now what they look like, right? So, now because they are fully cooked, so now here is where I want to take it off, right? They are fully, fully cooked, right? This is what it looks like on the inside after we do it, uh, after it's roast, right? I'm trying not to come too close because uh, my phone, it could overheat. So I wouldn't come too close to the fire. So I'm just staying there, right? So this is what you want to see for you to know that it's fully cooked, right? And I'm just about to... And I'm about to um, get it out of the skin and into the bowl, into the processor. And I already have some some of the things we put in it, plant choker here. You don't put green season in it, plant choker, please. Um, I have my mini processor with some white onions. Use like whatever onion you like, just don't put the red in there. So I have it with some white onion. A whole, a whole red scotch bonnet pepper and two cloves of garlic. I don't want to go crazy with the garlic, right? So that's all I have in there. Let me just get ready to uh, I'm gonna get ready to 
strip away if you like. Right, like I said, I'm going to put it in my processor. Right? So. You want to take off the top. Right, I just use spoons and I get it off. And then I lift it out. I don't even long ago we used to have to do it a next way and I just I just can't with a lot of stuff. So I come up with my own methods and techniques to do things. Right? It's so hot I'm just gonna leave it in the bowl for a bit until I do the next one and then I'm gonna get it into my processor. Yes, we can use our processor for hot stuff but you know I still have the other one to do I just wanted to drop a bit in temperature okay you might have a bit of the uh, the shell of it it's okay some persons like to see that look in there you don't want too much of it having said that though remember I always speak about balance all the time right I see a big chunk that I don't want in there of the skin so I'm just gonna move it out right So there's one. There's our next one. Sorry about that noise. Some of you might be the first time you ever see someone do a plant so like this. Some of you are like, what's going on here? <laughs> I know. We live in the Caribbean, so we do things different, right? Probably my American friends, my born American friends and international friends, because I have friends all over the world, some all in Italy, all over the world I have friends, some in China, uh, some in, uh, I have friends like literally all over the world, some of the nations, some of my friends and you all won't believe, right? So now they probably could try it. I have some friends that the cooking I do is very, very similar to how they cook, believe it or not. I have some friends in some of the, uh, the Indian nations of the earth in India and so forth, right? So sometimes I might put up something and they will like it because they're saying, okay then, I didn't know you all do that over there too. I have a supporter that's uh, born native to one of these Indian nations and he's also a subscriber to my YouTube channel after I did the roti. Because he probably didn't know that <laughs> we had similar things with food. Probably was shocked when I did it. And then I have persons reaching out to me all the time. Some of them on Instagram and they are like, what you do? I wanted to do it, but I didn't have the courage. And I said, why? Just why? Why you don't have the courage to do it? What you afraid of? Because I'm here to encourage. Because I saw a quote some time ago you see how little bit it came down to that's why i was saying so i saw a quote i love quotes i love to read and i saw a quote once that say follow your dreams or do your dreams because if you don't someone else will pay you to do their own and that's that's when i was done it's like that's some powerful stuff i said it is the truth you might like cooking and you might go well i'm not saying you shouldn't go because of course if you have dreams of opening your own business you need a start a point a jump off you right so i'm not saying you wouldn't go and work but if you don't you might like cooking you might be slaving all day in somebody's kitchen and their business is known and establishment as the best kitchen out and guess who's cooking the food not them you think about it for a second so i'm not here to preach i'm here to do this then one get off right so that is what our two huge eggplants came down to that's why you want to do a lot. You want to do a lot. It's, it's okay to have some remaining because what will happen is you can always uh, refrigerate it. Let's say for about two days, store it properly, not freeze, refrigerate. I don't, food have expiration dates, right? And you all know I don't like um, refrigerated foods and chemicals and so forth. I try to limit that as much as possible.
spray. Uh, my food processor set up. Remember I told you all about this, the old, the natural oils and juices that it releases. You are seeing in the bowl there we have some. Yeah, that's what it does. So two huge egg pans came down to that. That's in the bowl. That was in the bowl and it's on the processor. You want to buy a lot of these things when you are making them, okay? If you love it as much as I do, you want to buy ridiculous amounts. I wouldn't say that. Keep buy and keep. It, it's better to take your veg and stuff fresh, right? So I'm about to pulse it. I'm going to take off the top part of my processor so I can have a bit of vent going on. About here is good. This is what we want, right? You see how quickly it went by the processor? You know how much time I will have been there? You will leave and come back. Go do a lot of stuff and come back if I was doing the traditional fork method. And I will still be there using it. That's why it's good to have your tools, right? So I'm just going to put in the seasonings now. Put it, put it back into the bowl and get my seasonings in there. I just want to leave my spatula. When you are using your processors and stuff, don't use metal objects in it, it's going to get it very um, dull looking. So always use like things like these in your processors and stuff, okay? This bowl is too big now, I'm going to exchange bowls. Right, so you want to use spatulas and object that's not sharp and, you know, for your things like this. Right, so I'm gonna put my seasonings. Remember what I said it was? Go back at the start, you will hear what it is. This is how it looks because, of course, it was freshly made, right? It's a scotch bonnet pepper, two cloves of garlic, and white onion, okay? Finely chop, I just did it. It makes a world of difference. I'm not gonna use all of this because you all saw what my, uh, some persons also, what they will do is they will heat their onion and garlic on the stove for this. The same seasoning, they'll put it on, in, on, in some, uh, on the fire in a small pan to get it going. I won't do that. I don't, I have a way I do my stuff. So I'm just going to put some of the canola oil in there now. Not too much. About there. And I'm going to use a couple turns of my Stonewall Kitchen uh, sea salt, main sea salt that I got at Brook Foods and Dago Martin, right? So I'm just going to use a couple turns. You don't need to put any powdered seasoning in this whatsoever if you want to stay authentic, right? And if you don't, if you are hypertensive, you have high blood pressure or you are borderline in, stay away from the salt. It, you don't need salt for it. Just season it up with your fresh seasoning and that's all. The smell of it is just amazing. Remember I said we don't put green seasoning in this, okay? Some of you, you will have only taste these things or eat it when you buy it. Now you are going to make your own stuff. Knowing exactly what you put into it. And why you want to use the red uh, hot pepper is for the purpose. You see how pretty it's coming through there? So because we don't put green seasoning in this, I'm just going to garnish it with a bit of my seasoning at the top. And easy like that, we are finished with our eggplant or melon gen choker. Easy like that. We are done. Right? So I hope there's someone that requested it. Gets a chance to see the demo. Of course, I will alert them privately. Right? Just clean up my bowl. Right? Guys, the pleasure was my own. As always, you all know the business. We are all over social media. We are on Instagram. We have the, food, uh, the Facebook 
business page right here. Of course, I said Facebook. On Facebook, we have a YouTube channel and we have an email address for the business. If you want to come into direct private contact with me, which is food, uh, foodbyshamion at gmail.com. We have a next uh, email address, but I'm not going to really release it until I launch the website. The website is finished building. We are just waiting to clear up a few things before we launch it. And I will indicate when we are about to launch or to launch, right? Guys, the pleasure was my own and I'll be with you, you guys soon. Uh, until then, thanks for all your love and support and thanks for watching.